Hey, my name is Ulrich and welcome to my channel and today we'll be talking about the Superfish Home Series, the pros and cons. Without further ado, let's get into the video. So first up on the list, I wanted to talk design. Design wise, I think the Superfish Home uh, Series did a great job in the design. Uh, you have it in black, like I have it, as well as in white. Now this is a Superfish Home 65 Aquarium. And I quite like the exterior look of it. Uh, it's very well designed, in my opinion. And um, yeah, design all good. Now what I would have preferred is that the seams you can see the seams are white now i would have preferred that the seams were black with the black version uh version yeah would be in my opinion a better look for it now as i showed you guys in my unboxing video if you didn't see it already i'll put the link up in the top right corner uh, this comes with a glass topping which is uh, sweet, it's uh, very good. I prefer this over the Plexi ones. Uh, they come in certain aquariums, they come with two sheets and I have a cat at home. So the cat, I can walk over this no problem at all. And the thing that, uh, that bothers me a bit is when you do water changes, uh, if you want lighting, now I'm not very light up, uh, I have uh, extra lighting on the back now and uh, some lighting for sphere. Um, the problem is that it's hard to get out all of the debris from the bottom when uh, the light is on. So you have to clip it open to get to the back and then as you can see you don't see very much of the bottom. So that's a bit of a bummer but I can do without too much first, I just use the lamp, the extra lamp. If it's close to a window, you won't need, it won't be a problem for you. For me it's just a bit of a bummer. Not too much of a con, not a pro as well. Uh, the biggest pro on this tank is the side. So on the side where normally this uh, filter, this filter hangs on this side it should be with me as you can see i've ripped it out but that will be for later on so the great thing hang on in my opinion the biggest pro of this fish tank is that you have a way to hide all of your cables hang on yeah they thought of a good way to put all of the cables through the sidings here. So if you have an air pump running or a filter running, all the cables can be tucked away nice and neatly here in the side. And out of sight, out of mind guys. That's the neatest thing about this aquarium. Okay, so why did I get rid of the internal pump? and the pump itself because uh, it was in the way. Um, the flow of the pump that you get with it is way too hard for the fish that I want to keep. I want to keep uh, betta fish as well as um, the guppies that I have in here. And it sprays too hard. You can see the plants wave everywhere. Uh, this is a 400 liters hour pump and it's way too much for my intentions. It's good for, might be good for other fish, but I just got it out because all of my shrimps, the shrimps that I have, as well as one fish was stuck behind it. As you can see, uh, there's a space behind it and it's not, it's open here in the back, so the fish could get in and uh, one got stuck behind it. So I had to rip it out and I will show you a bit of footage of how I ripped it out. Now the side towards me was the easiest one. 
the back side I had a bit of a problem the knife that I used the Stanley knife that I used uh, snapped off so it was stuck behind uh, in between the pump vault and the glass so I panicked a bit and I pushed the pause button but uh, I forgot to turn it on back again so you don't see the whole dismantling of the uh, pump vault So what did I do to replace the pump? I used a sponge filter from uh, Superfish, um, my store in the neighborhood uh, sells most of the things of Superfish, so uh, that's what I went for. It's a pretty good sponge filter and uh, you can add some media to the bottom of the sponge filter. Uh, I will show you a close-up of the sponge filter. So the biggest no-no for me on this um, aquarium or uh, the Superfish Home series is that the sidings, so you can see here the sidings, it's not siliconed off or anything so if water drops get through here uh, they will pass through uh, between the siding and the tank itself and I don't know if you can see it clearly on camera, but I'll, I'll put a, a arrow towards it. And if you look closely here, you can see a week ago I got the water filter. So the filter vault out and it splashed a bit around, the water splashed a bit around. And now there is still water in between it. So you can see uh, it hasn't dried up yet. And I hope that it won't become uh, like here. I should, I should clean the windows a bit. Uh, I hope it doesn't become whitish but because that would be awful, an awful sight to see. Now I've got this fish tank for about a month. Yeah, a month. And I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know anymore where I put the remote control. So I have to search for that, but luckily uh, you don't need a remote control, you can uh, do all the controls of the lighting uh, with the easy push buttons here on the top, so that's great. Uh, if you lose the controller, don't worry, you can use the buttons on the top. For the rest, in my opinion, all pros. Um, it's a very good tank, well built. Uh, I love the lightings that you can dim the lighting. So as you can see, I'm dimming the lights. And this is how I would set it up in the evening, uh, an hour before I go to sleep. Uh, now I've put it on a timer and when the timer switches on, the lighting also goes on gradually. So that is pretty nice. Overall, I'm pretty happy with this tank. Um, if I would go back to the store and have the choice between this one or another one, I think I would probably choose this one again. Um, overall, I'm happy. Uh, now you have to decide between the pros and the cons if it's something for you, yes or no. Um, it doesn't come with a black um, behind. I've put that on. It's uh, like uh, for the screens of the car uh, to black it out. I've put it on so that the plants pop up more and yeah overall good tank well built the only downsize for me is the uh, silicone work I would have preferred it in black and the biggest no-no is the water that can pass through the sidings there and uh, leave a stain uh, I hope it won't happen uh, Superfish, if you see this video, maybe do something about that, that would be super great.
I thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like. And if you want to see more aquarium videos or pond videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys for watching. Take care.